the other side are fantastic. Ulysses Bentley was a game time decision. We don't expect him to play tonight. That's Trey Siggers. Came in having knowledge of the position. There's Mordecai again. Had to shuffle his feet in the pocket. Takes his time. Jalen Hurts. We just saw them in our Heisman House commercial. Yeah, exactly. Plenty of them to go around. Good field position to start for the Mustangs. Mordecai the fake. Plenty of time. Takes a shot downfield. Mordecai sets his feet. Plenty of time. Danny Gray. Mordecai is going to roll to his left. Is he going to throw it back? He does. And well, it's a really nice catch there by Danny Gray coming from the backside. But how about Tanner Mordecai able to throw the Garrett Riley calling a ball play like that on yeah. fourth down. That's how much he trusts this quarterback. Mordecai, fake left, go back to the right. Has a block. In space, being explosive. The way he ran that, I'm not sure why he was even a game time decision. Right. Mordecai pressured. Looks at the end on the season. Ninth play of the drive, third and four. Quick throw for Mordecai. That's Rice. Oh, now they back off. Second, fourth down go for SMU. Second conversion for SMU. We, we talked about Kennedy the past couple of plays. This time they switch off the routes. You got an inbreaker and an outbreaker. Kennedy. Already the 11th play of the opening drive. Siggers off the right side makes a cut. Looking to get on the board first. Second and goal. Siggers stopped. Great play. Mordecai rolls right, pressured. The other thing interesting is the dates, because that kind of lets you know when all of these things could take place. Mordecai forced to roll out, has a man open, that's Gray. Look like a cover. Comes Tempo from SMU, back in two-lane territory. And that's a give to Siggers off the right side, that breaks an initial tackle, and what a good... You're looking at, you've got Danny Gray against Lance Robinson, and as Gray takes off, watch how Robinson plays the, the initial double move pretty well, and then there's just a stumble, not looking behind him. Mordecai again to throw over the middle of the field, has Gray wide open. Downs for SMU, ball spotted at the 14. That's Epton getting the carry. Brandon Efton cuts outside. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to spill this to the outside, but watch the linebacker. Looks like that's Dorian Williams gets tied up. Jaden Kennedy not able to track him down until he's well downfield. First and goal. It's Efton again trying to weave his way up the middle and fight towards the guy earn it. The big play. Right up the middle. First and 10 SMU with the 12 Siggers. The North Texas. Been good, decent at getting us some U2 third downs. The fourth downs killed him on the first drive. Second and six, Mordecai. Quick throw to the right side, and Gray is having a big night. There's a little uh, help with the eye, it seems like. Shot of Vizine will do it. Yep. Mordecai over the middle, has Rice. Already four receivers for SMU with at least one reception. Mordecai, the play fake over the middle. Garrett Riley said of the Oklahoma transfer, Cal Katerra, he's a leader and he works like a pro. He, he absolutely, when you take advantage of every moment. It's like a Jason Witten starter kit. Yeah. <laughs> First and ten, outside, look at the cut by Siggers. He that a gain of 30. Watch Rasheed Rice, cracks the linebacker, Dorian Williams. Then Macon Clark misses in the open field and Siggers is up the sideline. Not the speed back, but shows it there. Here comes the tempo. There goes Mordecai in compete. I didn't see that there. There was a little contact, a little handsy, but not enough for a foul. Austin being polite, saying quiet. <laughs> to the end zone in Play for Reggie Robertson. They need him healthy and playing well for the back half of the schedule, and he's really started to. Mordecai on third and ten. What a shot across the field. On Calcaterra, the cornerback, and he's just playing way too far inside. Calcaterra runs a little out, and there's plenty of separation. I mean, that's an easy pitch, and got caught too far inside. That SMU's 11th first down of the night. Two lane, none. Footwork out of the backfield. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Number 21. Half distance to the goal. Automatic. First down. Attack on four yards. Attack to the gain of nine. And Danny Gray getting the block to spring as he fell in the season. You see the face mask there. 21. Uh, Kerr, the guilty party. These receivers, uh, I've really enjoyed watching them over the past. SMU. <laughs> 
Big plays to this point. Mordecai to the end zone. You get the look that you want. And in this situation, you like the quarterback to not back shoulder it. You know, you kind of want to throw it up, let your tight end. Yeah, that's fair. Second and goal. Fake the pitch. Oh, what a ball play. Mordecai did run if he needs to, but watch this ball play, Rod. I mean, the, the fake. On the backside, JoJo Dorsius is gone. Bring a big play on special teams. Now they're starting to the ball at the 39-yard line in Green Wave territory. Right out of the gate. What a defense. Teammates were perfect and very supportive of him. And he's, as a camera trophy finalist, he's one of the emotional leaders. Play football against some of the top competition in the country. These are the types of things that make you tough, and Nick Anderson certainly is that. Third and 11, right at 13. Tanner Mordecai once again shows the poise, moves up in the pocket, and then the delivery. The two lanes. First down, they're, they're just about getting it. Yeah, that essentially makes you four for five on the day. Good math. That's why he went to Georgia Tech. <laughs> Mordecai trying to show those legs again. Holding. Offense. Number 51. 10 yards. The spot is out. Still first down. Tight ends have been open for him a lot. You got McIntyre. Third from the bottom. Take Siggers off the left side. Oh, one arm, they'll go for it. When you're going to the left and the ball's on the inside, they absolutely will. Second and seven for Mordecai. Crossing route. You mentioned the tight ends. Here's another. The money pocket for him, but it doesn't matter. He's able to move up and then watch the throw. Drops it right over the outstretched defender's hands. That was Kevin Henry, the linebacker. You get a Hail Mary in there. It, it is worth it. You get the emotions. You get to live it. I mean, you're getting... Already in two-lane territory. Mordecai pressured. Blitz picked up. Takes a shot. But it looks like he settles down. And Matt, I tend to I tend to go with the quarterbacks on this one. They usually know what they're talking about. This quarterback knows what he's doing. Gets it to Danny Gret. Play fake over the middle. They go with the little fake bubble screen and then try and slip it. Think pressure from that linebacker spot. Not bluffing now, he's coming. That's Epton. One of the young rising stars in the coaching profession also looks a lot like Lincoln. Just like him. Mordecai, third and 10. What a throw off his back feet. Pass interference, offense, number 11. 15 yards from the previous spot, still third down. They all come from the same offensive understanding, which is why Sonny Dyke's comfortable with him as the offensive coordinator. So here, three fast and obviously he's extremely talented, but I heard Jordan Palmer talk about this, saying that, I mean, this is a guy that's... Ball spotted at the 30. Mordecai climbs the pocket, does a good job avoiding the rush. And more... Blitzing up the middle, right in the middle of your screen. Watch number four. He's going to climb and then throw a block on the uh, defensive end coming around. That's Siggers off the left side, trying to get away from the quarterbacks. We were talking about Arch Manning, Mordecai, who's a four-star kid coming out of the Waco area. And SMU loves Preston. A guy that a lot of people wanted, SMU got. Shane Bouchelle, Garrett Gilbert, some of those transfers over the middle to Roderick Daniels. Kind of transfer portal for SMU because they're bringing in a lot of Texas kids, state of Texas kids. Third and nine, Mordecai does a good job keeping his... About the broom drills and the pool noodle drills that quarterbacks do. Well, this is why. There's hands, there's feet, there's bodies all around Tanner Mordecai. Maybe with a bag underneath, he's got a maneuver around. Definitely a bag. Oh, right. In the sand? Yeah. yeah. Throw a putter in there and you got yourself a drill. <laughs> you and some third and longs, some second and longs. It seems like more often than not, the Mustang's able to convert. Pressure again, Mordecai again stands in the pocket. That's Rice over the middle. 100 yards total offense in the first half. Quickly outside. That's Dan. Can't find anybody. Daniels. Siggers picks up the rush. That's another good slant pass. Get in the end zone. I'm easily findable. Ball spotted at the 30 for Mordecai. That's Siggers off the left side. Yeah, so I agree with you. You want to protect Tanner Mordecai, protect this lead. But he's been so good with his decision. Ford showing pressure, see if they can get off the down early. Tanner Mordecai designed run. On. Fourth and one, they go for it. Siggers trying to, oh, second effort. You get it, you get him open. It's not a great throw by the kicker, but 
the ball, guy had the ball in his hands. You got to catch the ball. Opening up the guy who initially ends up at tackle and making him eligible, getting him to be eligible. That's the trick of it. You're trying to get a guy wide open. And so third and five, they can get the ball back here if they stop SMU. Plenty of time for Mordecai. Has all day. The gain of eight in the first down. Feels like he's open for about 10 seconds. Watch 88 in the middle of your screen. He's just hanging out. Still open, still open. Making myself available to the quarterback. She talked about. But they've got Clemson Saturday at home as Mordecai is going to fake. Boot to his left. Can't find anybody. He's going to tight tackle. We went away with Marcus Bryant injured. Just like the that. second sack allowed. Came in saying his offensive line was good. Mordecai! You know, you mentioned earlier in the half, uh, would SMU be more conservative? This one should have been a pick. Consecutive completions for Mordecai. Brings up a third and long, low snap. Mordecai gonna take a shot! Has great for the talented receiver, Danny Gray. You know what, a guy, 299-pound senior. Get a blitz off the right side. It's a nice job of executing. Another third and long for this two-lane defense. Sigers in the backfield in motion, leaks out to his left. Mordecai time over the middle, boys. This guy time. Nice job by Goffman. That is now eight SMU Mustangs who have caught a pass tonight. You talk about ball distribution, look no further. Siggers. He's been replaced by Alan Ali. Siggers gonna take it up the middle. A 14 carry, 78 yards, and two touchdowns. Shuffle on that offensive line, but number 77, Alan Ali Callant, is through the roof at the school, both coming out of high school and from guys wanting to come home. Yep. Recruiting their backyard better than anybody. He said, we can do the same thing, just recruit our backyard really well, and we'll have similar type of success. You know, guys that started their careers elsewhere and have found their way back home here to Dallas, third and seven. I think there's gonna be any mention of the, uh, of the Tennessee Ole Miss game? Never. Oh. Adam goes up. They said that he's got good hands, too. Yeah, best hands on the team. When's the last time a player that had a neck roll had good hands? Back. He looks like the stingers. character Riggins on Friday Night Live. Yes, he does. Traded after. Yes, he does. Mordecai over the middle. Calcaterra. Pass interference. Um, offense. Number 88. 15-yard penalty. Replay first down. The second time. 11 and a half in the fourth quarter. Epped in off the left side. Oh, that's this is good microphone reception. Tanner Mordecai. Calcaterra on the field. Calcaterra has been his guy yep. in these situations. Mordecai, pocket gets hazy. He's able to step out of it. Look at that cut. I just don't. Yeah, I, I, I want to put some of the onus on the quarterbacks too, though. Like, you, it's the most defenseless position you can be in in a football field. Going head first is safer. Obviously, running is safer in a lot of ways. Oh, here goes Cowbell. At a Dallas, Texas, went to Parrish. Is in at quarterback. Sonny Dykes is really fired up about that guy. Brandon Efton. So he's going to be able to push him every step of the way, yep. too. A talented young freshman. Sonny Dykes said three touchdowns. We got to make an exception. Three man. years ago, we actually gave one early. It was when Hank Bach. So, because we've been talking about it all night, right? Some of these, these targeting calls on quarterbacks. There you see. He obviously throws an interception. I think it's a, it's a, it's obviously a great point, Matt. I mean, you're, you're a professional. I think we. That's acting up the. It's, it's been so evenly spread throughout the offense.